Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Vikram Siha Kailash Goswami, junior resident in final year. I will be presenting on, uh, today, today I will be presenting on uh, use of fast scan and MDCT in diagnosing solid intra-abdominal organ injury in road tactic accident patients. So, abdominal trauma is leading cause of morbidity and mortality among all age groups in road traffic accident cases. Road traffic accidents kill around 1,50,000 people annually in India. Many of these patients have multi-system injuries resulting from high-velocity mechanism. When assessing the status of abdominal trauma patients in emergency department, clinical history, play, uh, physical examination are often unreliable and inconsistent. Imaging plays critical role in evaluation of patients with suspected abdominal trauma. Portable ultrasonography machine and CT scanners are now available in most trauma centers and with advent of helical scanners, scanning time has been significantly reduced. As a result, focus assessment of sonography for trauma as a fast scan followed by CT has become an expect accepted part of traumatology's armamentarium. In suspected abdominal injuries, the solid organs, spleen, kidney, liver are damaged most often, followed by pancreas and intestines. Aims and objectives. To describe the fast scan and CT findings among the patients sustaining abdominal trauma, to analyze sonographic and CT findings and their correlation, to evaluate the efficacy of ESG in diagnosing abdominal trauma with reference to involvement of different organs compared to CT scan. Materials and method. This was a retrospective study done in NGM Hospital, Navi Mumbai, for a period of six months from 1st June to 31st November 2022. A total of 20 cases were included that were referred to the Department of Radio Diagnosis by Emergency Department following RTA with history of abdominal trauma. All patients' fast scan were done followed by CT scan. Results. On fast scan, 17 uh, hemoperitoneum cases were detected and 18 on CT. Splenic injury was detected in 13 cases of, uh, on fast scan and uh, 14 were detected on CT. Liver injury is detected in 8 cases on fast scan and in 9 cases on CT. Kidney injury is detected in 3 cases on fast scan and 5 cases on CT. Pancreas injury was detected in 1 case on uh, uh, fast scan and uh, same case was uh, detected on CT. Bile injury was not detected on fast scan, but uh, it was detected, uh, two cases were detected on CT. Blood injury was also not detected on fast scan, but it was detected on CT. In our study, hemoperitone was found in 17 cases on ESG and 18 on CT. Swelling injury was found in 13 cases on ESG and 14 on CT. So in this case, one splenic injury was missed on fast, that was confirmed on CT. Similarly, hepatic injuries found in 88 eight cases on EUG and 9 on CT. Kidney injuries were found in 3 cases on EUG and 5 on CT. One case of pancreas injury was found in EUG and CT. Uh, two cases of bowel injury and one case of bladder injury were discovered on CT only. There are two cases. Uh, first one. 30 year old male admitted in ER following RTA with abdominal trauma. Figure A shows about 2 cm deep uh, echogenic band in the mid portion of the spleen on fast scan. Same case of axial CT shows the splenic laceration appearing more extensive on CT, displaying jagged margins and the maximum depth reaching up to 40 cm. Next case, a 45-year-old male with history of RTA with abdominal trauma. In the first image, we see ultrasound examination showing large hypoechoic area in posterior segment of right lobe of liver and surrounding hemoperitoneum. The second image of the same case shows large laceration is involving posterior segment of liver on photovenous space. High density fluid is also seen around the spleen. Moderate hematoma is seen around the liver. So it was confirmed. Discussion. In recent years, CT and USG have re replaced all the modalities of the investigation up to the great extent. USG was done in all patients followed by CT examinations. In this study, splenic trauma was the most common injury detected on both USG and CT. 
This is in accordance with standard surgical description of more common splenic injuries. Pancreatic bowel and mesenteric injuries and urinary trauma were low in frequency. Hepatic injuries were also common and were second most common injuries detected after splenic trauma on both USG and CT. Kidneys were the third most commonly injured organ in this study. There were three cases of renal injury detected on ultrasonography and five detected on CT. In this study, free fluid was not noted in 17 cases of abdominal trauma on USG. Out of these 17 cases, associated visceral injuries were present in 16 cases. One case was not associated with any visceral injuries on USG. On CT scan, one more additional case of hemoperitoneum was detected, leading to detection of 18 cases of hemoperitoneum on CT in this study. Intestinal obstruction related to immediate post trauma could have compromised the sonography detection of hemoperitoneum in this patient. Two cases were noted which were having visceral injuries on CT scan, but hemoperitoneum was not detected. Three cases were having multiple solid, solid organ injury, uh, involvement like spleen with ipsilateral kidney, liver with ipsilateral kidney and so on. One case was noted involving liver, kidney, spleen and urinary bladder organ which were seen on CT. In conclusion, based on the findings of the study, following conclusion were, uh, we are uh, were arrived upon. CT is the imaging modality of choice for diagnosing abdominal injury. USG is fairly sensitive in detecting hemoperitoneum and solid organ injuries, especially of higher grades. Spleen is the most commonly injured organ in abdominal trauma. USG is relatively less sensitive in detecting bowel and bladder injuries. These are the references. Thank you.